All right, so this is a 2007 Freightliner Coronado chassis. Actually, the motor home was manufactured in 2008, but because of the way the vehicle's registered for 2007 production year for the chassis, it's listed as a 2007. In your first bay here, you have a 12 volt Norcold refrigerator freezer. You can use it as a refrigerator or a freezer. It's 12 volt, does not require the inverter to be on. Next bay is storage. It also has cables for TV and to the satellite and all that. If you choose to put a TV in here, we just use it for storage. These are all carpeted. Next bay is your Aqua Hot Deed I Doe diesel burner. A little bit of storage in here. This compartment does not get hot, it vents out. This works for your domestic hot water and your heating. There's no propane on this coach. In this bay, you have your GoProwr controller for your solar. You have one 300 watt solar panel, your inverter, your 2800 Magnum inverter, 2800 watt Magnum inverter, and you have two 200 amp AGM batteries underneath this. Inside of the coach, these are a two stage uh, a gas shock on these. They'll stay at this position and come all the way up. There is a storage bay here, which has a water spigot and a separate pump that we'll show you on this next, next bay over. The following bay over has the auxiliary water tank. This bay here, this guess this is not a two stage shock. And this has your four chassis batteries here, three for the coach, one for the generator start, and a little bit of storage above. This here's your auxiliary 75 gallon water tank, which that pump in the previous, the first bay works. And there's your central vac where you can change out your bag. This bay is your 12,000 kW power tech generator. I had an issue, I had to rewire a bunch of stuff. The controller is an elaborate controller inside. It only remotely starts. You can buy a controller for a hundred bucks to replug in inside. I've not done that, but that's how it's gonna be sold. This is a Kubota inline four cylinder, uh, Kubota inline uh, four cylinder diesel generator. Last but not least, this is your wet bay with your PEX manifold where you can shut off all your uh, water to different various places in the coach. This has a power cord reel. It pulls out manually, reels in with power right here. Same with your water hose. It reels out manually. I believe it's 50 feet and it will reel back in also. Uh, here also you have a shower where you can wash off dogs or your kids' feet. It's also hot and cold. You have your Thiemann 1600 pound lift gate. Real easy. Hold the pins. Well, the weight rests on it, so you have to raise it up. This plugs in inside the garage here. Pull your pins. Pin up here. Pin on this side also. down you pull this this is the It's nine foot two to the roll up door. If you leave the roll up door open and just and just the, with the ramp up, you get about nine foot eleven inches. Also, in this garage, you have fluorescent lights, an air conditioner, nice metal aluminum cabinet storage. This is all aluminum 
handling them inside the garage. And the width? And the width between these here are 79 one half inches. Garage. Okay. Also in this garage, it has a camera so you can monitor if you have pets back here that comes up on the screen up in the cab or your bikes or what have you. It, it comes with the Sony TV and the, the whatever that is, a Nintendo, so, I believe. Yeah, some kind of PlayStation. Or a PlayStation. You want to pull the... This also locks in place too. It's got two pins on the side. And that is your garage. So this is how you put the garage away. You can raise it up when it's in the down position or let it down when it's in the down position, an unfolded position. Make sure your pins go back in here. tight. Hold your pins in. Of course, I'll put the clevis pins in also, but just so you get the idea of it, then you let it down so it rests on those pins so you don't have any pressure on the hydraulic. The cab, these are airliner, these are Freightliner stock air ride seats. They also have an inflatable bladder for the lumbard, and you adjust the armrest right here, up or down. Uh, basic cab, all your gauges and stuff, stereo, Bluetooth. Your slide controls are here, and also your Bigfoot leveler. Camera for backup camera, and also for the garage camera. Here's the slide out. We've already shown the pictures of the slide out. I'm not going to go through the trouble. We're not level right now. You only put the slide outs out when you're level. So I'd have to put my Bigfoot levelers down. Um, this pulls out into a bed. Uh, I believe it's a queen size bed or full. Um, also up here, there's storage, but you could also put a bed up here. It's, I believe it's over 50 inches wide and it's 80 inches long. You can only access it when the slide's out. There's a light up there and an air conditioning duct. This is the dinette. There's storage under these cushions. This lowers down and you can make a bed out of this. I believe you use some cushions off of this to fill in the spot for the table here. Um, residential refrigerator. I don't know how many cubic feet it is. It probably says in here, but it's a decent size. Over here is your wardrobe and control for your satellite dish. Uh, another storage down here in subwoofer. This also has surround sound um, in the coach. It has nice glide slide doors, all dovetail construction. Quite a bit of storage here. Storage over the refrigerator. Storage all down this side. Uh, so some storage under the sink. Also, when you're parked, these closed so you have the isolation between the cab and the coach. Moving back to the back. So here we have the bathroom. The door has command hooks on it. You have sink, Tecma Mansurator toilet, nice storage, Air Max fan, Medicine cabinet, storage underneath, nice shower, decent size skylight, more storage. We did put the slide out in the bedroom so you can see door to the garage you can get through going over the bed. We have storage down here, shoes, etc. TV, 
DVR player, lots of storage. And this uh, opens to that point right there because the slider only goes down so far. Queen size bed. This has a brand new mattress on it, still in the package. Blinds, slide windows, AC. And we have cabinets above that have plenty of storage. And in the mirror. Behind the mirror here is all your circuit breakers for your 110, your 12 volt. Um, it has everything here. This overhead um, does not have mattress in it. You can put a mattress in it. It is 39 inches wide by 39 inches from front to back and, 30, and 80 inches side to side.